Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee, and we are once again playing Pillars of Eternity, and we are in the second level of the Ruins of Silabinerlag. Probably not pronouncing that properly. We're here for two reasons. I can actually hit the right button. Uh, one, there is something here about the leaden key that we need to find out, and two, something to do with Adair's older brother, I believe it is. And I went back in town. I got us some more camping supplies, so we now have three of those, and got us a rest. Mm -hmm. So I set out unprepared for the day's journey. And I'm not going to be playing at the normal speed I usually do, only because I am playing one-handed. And before all of you get your minds in the gutter, let me just say it's because I'm holding a nine-month-old, my baby daughter. She needed a nap. She needed daddy. So... Because I am a good dad, I am more than happy to hold her while I do this. Any background noises from my kids watching uh, Family Games TV? It's some YouTube channel. It's actually um, find out find out yeah, just it's a little bit annoying, but whatever. Let's see, a series of pictographs, simple but clear, carved in a column as Alco. Figures of men and women with their arms raised are carved into the top of the column. Suits of armor on the same pose have been chiseled at the bottom. So. How do we get through this? I'm assuming there's a trick to this. Got it. Oh, yeah, we got tons of lockpicks, though, so who cares? Finished. Actually, before we go that way, this door is not locked. And it's probably worth our time to go in there. Oh, God, get back, get back, get back. No, don't stand on the trap, you freaking moron. All right, would everybody like to get in on this fight? Seriously, guys. Uh, that was a wee bit annoying. Adair got freaking spiked by some weird trap. Uh, doesn't have a in critical injury, though. That's nice. Doesn't look like anybody got one from the trap. And this person showed up at our keep. It's not at all annoying. Uh, a Dern Scion. Oh, he's an expensive little lad, isn't he? Um... Yeah, why not? We'll take him. Nice and quiet. Okay, everybody go back into stealth. We got ourselves an Agwithin dagger, which are really cool looking. I have to say I love those kind of daggers. Although, let's face it, it ain't as good as sh Shame or Glory. That is a damn good sword. We've got an Agwithin shield. Ten and ten. Yeah, he's uh, right now Adair's using uh, Sura's Supper Plate, which is a uh, 8 deflection, plus 4. So I think it's yeah, it's, it's 8 altogether, no penalty to accuracy, and it gets retaliation, which is nice. But I want to say that a normal shield, or normal medium shield, if I have any in here, are 8 and 8 as far as uh, all that. Let's hold on a second. All right, this is a medium shield, right? No, 12 and 4. So Gwythin shields are not nearly as good. Although I do wonder if there's... Oh, hello. Can we disarm that trap? Yes, excellent. And there you continue to be awesome. What is that? A phantom. Now, if I remember correctly, somebody actually has an anti... Sword, that would be the Whispers of Yenwood. Because that's a spirit, is it not? Yes, it is. Let's creep forward nice and slow. There might be another trap here. I don't want to go tripping over. Or, on second thought, it knows I'm here, so screw it. Let's make sure I don't stay all zoomed out. Oh, that spirit got brutally butchered. <laughs> I shall be quiet as a calm sea. All right. I was actually trying to play some uh, Star Wars earlier, but the last patch update, everything's running a lot faster, but then it's crashing. It's like, what the hell? 
Oh, a bunch of spirits for us to go after here. And now I am... I'm hands-free again. Which is nice. Now I can do stuff. Thank you, baby. Anytime. I do. Alright. I will say, I really do like spells going to uh, per encounter as opposed to per day. I also do miss things like Arcane Assault being an ability as opposed to a spell and uh, not having the same breadth of spells for uh, Pillage Attorney 2. That is a little bit of a letdown. Okay, nice and nicely and easily done. It's the cutest cat. It is the cutest cat. I shall be quiet as a calm okay, what do we got here? Uh, the pictograms in this alcove portray a precisional marching, a precision marching to an altar. Lone figure lies upon the altar, and another member of the precision drives a dagger into his heart. Something flows from the dying man into a white stone perched above the altar. Oh, that's just lovely. Sure. So was it the Ingwithins or the uh, Ereglantfanans that were doing the human sacrifice? Time was available to the goddess. No blessing to reap, no mercies to sow. That's an animate vessel right there. Hey. Adair, would you like to get up there and get his attention, please? That's it. Come on. Oh, you missed that pretty solidly, I would say. All right, so let's see. Will Wisp's a spirit. Yeah. Arutha can go after the Will O' Wisp. Go back up on the animate. I wonder if I want to switch you to the spark now. I think that's good. Get back up on the animate as well. I need you to, let's see. Yeah, let's do that also. Send the wolf in there. Am I missing anybody? No, oh, Aloth. I'm missing Aloth. She didn't want me for that. Uh, you guys are just. Why are you guys being dumb? A good shot with this. Yes. This thing is I told you to do that. Thank you. Now, do it again. Why isn't there? He, now he's chanting. He's like, what the hell isn't he chanting? And yeah, that will o' wisp is dead meat because I have this, that awesome sword. Ah, this game is acting so funny right now. Yeah, plus 10 deflection, minus 10 actually. Not nearly as good as the newer shields, which makes sense. It's not very valuable either. Shared animate armor is not very valuable, and the binding copper isn't, although that's a actually a really good source of uh, crafting materials. With a dagger, that one's actually not that bad. That 9 to 13 damage is not too shabby. But I don't have anybody using daggers, so it's kind of a point. Okay, so there were two guys up on this. Got here, piece of Audra, nice. Let's try and be thorough. A specter? I ain't worried about that. I'm starting to feel a little bit worried about that now, to be honest. All right. Armor of fate now. I really don't want to do that. He's got the arcane dampener if I need it, but no. Uh, where are you specifically? Right there. That's fine. Actually, what we want to do is come over to you. Start dropping these little fellows down. It's a little bit, a little bit of lag here. I'm not sure I like that at all. Get the animus out of the way. We should be fine. Let's go. It's mostly traps that are messing me up right now. My guys are pretty well, uh, well, 
I think it's time to put your radio back on. You're just not as useful without it, and I can't multitask the chanter that much. Alright, so. Okay, got the same stuff. We've got some spirit residue. A little bit more valuable, but probably not a lot. What is this? An Agwithan key. That's probably the key I needed right there. A woman and a man carved from Luster's Audra. Pour the contents of a vase at their feet. What is this over here? Leaving their bodies to offer their souls and forsaking the weakness of flesh and enfeebling of bone. The barbarians. The barbarian goddess succumbed at last. I don't quite know what they mean by that. I think it might have to do something, in fact, of the uh, Nguithan's overall plan when it came to dealing with the uh, hordes of barbarians that they saw everywhere. But that would be spoilers. Just a, just a couple of will -wisps. I ain't really worried about these guys at all. Oh, cool, he actually, uh, ta <laughs> Aloth tabbed, tagged it with a scepter and actually got it to turn, uh, turn its coat. That's cool. All right, we've got an alcove here, which is for... Hmm. A lot of altars and a lot of, uh, almost like trophy stands, I would say. For statues and whatnot would be, but... They don't have anything in them. Now, we also have to remember that there are some thieves in here as well. And where's the door that I opened up previously? Ah, oh, it's way over there. So we're, we're relatively close to where we originally started. Oh God, I can't remember if I put up the last episode. If I've uploaded it already. I have been... Really, really bad about that recently, just due to circumstances and my own levels of not give a shit right now. What the hell? Small rain blight. All right. I'll admit, that's new. Oh, they're spirits, though, so they're not that much of a threat. Yeah, just putting in the work. Those are really cool looking, though. I will admit. What have we got? Primal Waters. Oh, hell yes. I need those. What the shit? Man, okay, it's the same thing as before. Yeah, okay, this is where I came... This is where I picked the lock to get in. I'm not sure I need to worry about stealth at this point. It's mostly just spirits. There aren't any of the, uh, the barbarian elves in here at all. Yeah. As cool as these guys are, they're not really much of a threat. Let's go. Now, is he not getting involved? There we go. Yeah, he basically just one shot at that thing. So more primal waters, I'll gladly take them. Yes. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Oh, there's somebody going up the stairs there. There might actually be other people here. Interesting. Maybe we should be a little bit more cautious. I don't want to pick a fight with this entire village of elves. or put you little bastards on the best of days. Oh. Hello. Okay, you want to go? Oh, okay. Go to the first. Yeah. And that bounces off all the stone, which is nice. Now you guys can all come in from the back. Get a nice little scrum going here. Yeah, they can't get past the front line, and the front line is not going anywhere. Which is 
just fantastic. Okay, front line is holding the Oh, they heal. I keep forgetting that they heal. Did you use that already? Damn it, yeah, you did. Oh, no, actually, that was, a good, that was a good call for usage there. Yeah. Kind of wish I could actually... Th it was worthwhile to throw some spells in here, but it's really not. Alright, yep. Only two left. I'm not really worried about the uh, front line now. Take him down before they have a chance to heal. That ball lightning is not a great spell. It bounces a bunch, but it's inaccurate as hell. Makes these guys a little less threatening than they could be. Holy meditation. What did he do? Oh, it's Holy Radiance. Uh, did I change that for him? Okay, let's see. Holy Meditation. Da, 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 da. Plus 15 will plus 30 concentration. So spells. Talents. Inspired Flame. Which one is that? Oh, it's plus 10 sword accuracy. And it gives me that uh, Burst of Summer Flame, which I never use because it's a per rest ability. Probably why they changed it for the second one because then it's just it's too valuable to use and you wind up never using it. All right, what is that? Moonstone. Ooh, nice. Another piece of Adra. That's always nice. Okay, where are we here, anyway? I guess the only thing to do is go up the stairs, but I want to see if there's another spot here that we can use. And where are all the bandits everybody keeps talking about? Oh! Holy shit. This might have been a bad idea. Alright, who's got a summon on him? Alright, let's do... That... Where's your pet at? Oh, look, there's more of them. Could possibly be a mistake. Alright, I guess we'll start dropping some spells here. Huh, wonder why I can't cast that one. Is he stunned or something? He's not, but it won't let me do it. Curse of Black in Sight. Yeah, let's do that. See if that helps at all. Kind of a little laggy, but oh, these guys are immune to slashing damage or something. Pretty much. All right. Question: Have we killed any of these things? I don't think we have. These guys are vessels. This might actually do some damage to them. Alright, looks like they're actually starting to drop. Alright, they're going. I had to use a couple of, uh, couple of spells, but that's not too bad. Yeah, this thing is just so resistant to slashing damage. Okay, everybody just focus down this last guy for a second so we can get him killed. Awesome. Perfect. Alright. Well, hello. The core. Plus two perception. 
Hey, that's actually kind of nice. I'll definitely grab that. So what is that? Awakened Audra. Huh. All right, so I kind of screwed that up there. Actually, we don't want all this stuff in his uh, inventory. All right, so what's your necklace? Your necklace is Summer Solstice Necklace, which is nice. Uh, intellect and Resolve. What is that? Perception, yes. Reflex, plus five healing bonus. Spell Defense. I'd rather actually have you have the Perception, to be honest. Hold on to that for me. Perfect, there we go. Oh, there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. Fine male armor. Don't mind if I do. Fine hide ar armor. Yeah, not 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 as useful. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Actually, kind of the opposite of hammer. So this was some sort of forge. So Abaddon's forge, maybe. I don't know, because these things are all dedicated to the different gods. It's the only, like, blacksmith god I know of. Alright, do we have anything else here? I think we've got the area all... S oh, there's one little alcove down here, I think. Yeah, down here? Yeah, there's some down here. What the hell? Oh, Phantom. Hi, Phantoms. Let's go. Honestly, after the animate fight, this is going to be a little bit disappointing. Alright, come on. Oh my god, did you kill this thing already? Oh, he actually summoned Drakes for once. Funny, usually wasted on the uh, skeletons. Egg-shaped stones from Adra growing out of the ground. What is... It's really weird. Another one of those wispy energy things. Alright, so that's all of level 2. So, question. Where are the bandits? That's already... I want to noticing them, and who are those guys going upstairs here? Because I'd have to play it back, but I am positive I saw a couple of robed guys. No, they might have been leaden key agents. I somehow doubt it, only because I think the uh, let's just say that the elves eat everyone equally. Well, that may not necessarily be true. I don't know if they're. I don't know. If they are vicious little shits, regardless. Okay. Nice and cautious. Watch out for traps, because you know there are traps in here. Well, maybe not. I mean, those guys walked up there, but they had to have come from somewhere, too. Huh. Oh, hello. Shit. Yes, there were operatives of the Leaden Key here at one point. And they fired up a machine and fragged a bunch of people. Oh, shit. It's something that either hums and buzzes through your teeth. Well, that's not very nice. A haze of essence lingers over the body, as faint and insubstantial as dust, as a dust plume in a writer's wake. As you draw closer, whispered instructions echo in your ears, and anticipation warms your blood. Can't be talking to a spirit. There shouldn't be any spirits left after that machine goes off. In a vision, you see the same stone machine you approached moments ago, but from a different height and angle as through different eyes. You've heard rumors that some of your brethren were sent here months before, yet you see no sign of anyone that has been here. In fact, the cobblestones are covered in a fine layer of dust, ash. You suddenly know what this will cost you, and you are ready. The orders are clear. The effects of the machine and 
Obviously, Iban Relag were wearing off. A child had been born not far from the Deerwood recently with its soul intact. Machine. Oh, you motherfuckers. You and your companions take up your positions. You share a final look of information between yourselves. You don't know your name, you don't know theirs, but you know what you're doing. You know you're doing the work of the gods together. None of the rest matters. Two carved bands of stone in the middle of the machine grind into motion. They rotate in opposite directions, picking up speed until they spin like freshly greased carriage wheels. A wind shrieks through the cavern, accelerating with the stone rings. You press your hands to your ears and grit your teeth against the noise. About to shut your eyes when you glimpse new movement. Rows of triangular flaps around the machine open like petals. You know what's happening in the machine, but you feel a tingling in your extremities. A searing pain. Alright, sorry I had to yell at my son for a second. Searing they are sacrificing themselves to continue the Hollowborn Plague. These people are monsters. Yeah, they've been operating these machines all over the place. That is fucking nuts. What is wrong with people? So now we know. Now here's the question. How do we stop it? I mean, hell, can we stop it? Now this thing eats souls of people all over the place. Where the hell is Edir's brother? Didn't he die around here somewhere? I wonder if this is the area underneath the temple. Yeah, it's gotta be, because... I don't know. I do know nice. that the leaden key needs to die. You hear running water and see a small stream that carves its way into the mountainside. Inspect the stream. A shallow bottom flickers and wavers just under the water's edge, but as you look towards the tunnel, the bottom disappears in the darkness. From here, it's impossible to tell how deep the stream is. However, faint light plays along the walls of the tunnel. The echo of rushing water suggests that the tunnel and stream continue for quite some distance. Let's get in there. Take slow, sloshing steps towards the mouth of the tunnel, holding yourself upright while the current tugs at your legs. Cold water leaves you gasping as it rises past your waist. You fight for to control your breaths. The stream bed... Oh, that's a hard... I could have, I'm positive that word has a space in it. Soon drops off from beneath your feet and the current forces you towards the tunnel with growing force. Swim. The current pushes you through the tunnel faster and faster, tugging you downward. Over your head, the tunnel narrows and drops, leaving only a thin pocket of air. Take a final deep breath before the current drags you into the depths. Rays of light piercing the darkness, but the current is moving too fast for now to see more than flickering glimpses as you speed by. We're going to die. You keep your hands in front of yourself and focus on avoiding the jagged rocks that appear suddenly in the darkness jutting from the walls. A few lights wink up at you ahead. You're approaching it fast, but it looks like they're in the mouth of a second smaller tunnel. Might be able to reach it, but your lungs have started to ache. Let's grab that tunnel. You wrap your fingers around the rocks lying in the tunnel and peer, and peer into it. Terminating into a dead end, but something glints among the rocks at the far side. Wishing it would be a challenge for anyone without strong lung capacity. Let's send a dare. Oh, hello. Adair pulls himself into the tunnel, executing deft scissor kicks while the passage narrows. At the end, he finds a skeleton with a handle protruding from his ribs. Adair pulls it free and pushes off the tunnel, propelling himself back towards the main tunnel. Ooh. Swirling, tumbling through the darkness of the tunnel, you see at last a halo of light above, and you swim and kick towards it. At last, your head breaks the surface. You gulp air into your aching lungs, and you pull yourself to the edge of the pool. Crawling at... Out of the water, you look into the cavern around you as you massage feeling back into your aching, cold, numb limbs. Good job, there. I shall be quiet as a calm and nobody drowned, which is awesome. Alright, so... Is that right there? Rose of the Salt Hollow. Honestly, I thought this was going to be a dagger from the way it was uh, described. It's a unique... Two-handed morning star, slow, 17 to 19 crush damage, plus 25 of its corrode, plus 20% of damage restored as endurance. That's actually not bad. But I don't know what I would do with it, though. That slash and crush, that's pretty good. He's already got something that does that, to be completely honest. 
Does it have better reach? No, it doesn't. It's corrosive lash and it's draining and it's fine quality. Yeah, it's nice, but I'm probably just going to wind up selling it. I need to go through and sell all this shit anyway. Like, everything that we uh, use needs to go. I'm just sitting on free money right now, and none of it serves a purpose. Okay, we got a spider web here. With nothing in it. That's kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. See if we can start moving a little bit faster here. Nothing there either. That's odd. So, how did those men in the, in the robes and the masks get through that tunnel? They didn't swim through, did they? Oh, wait a minute. Where the hell am I? I'm back on level one. Oh, I guess that was the whole thing then. All right. That's not at all what I expected. Okay, that was crazy. I really didn't need to go back and rest and stock up on supplies and all that stuff because the rest of it was fairly easily done. I, I didn't really spend that much in the way of resources, so... I went through the front door. Uh oh. Warriors turns you exit the room and their faces paint their painted faces between shock and anger. You were warned. Whoopsie. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so sorry. You need to start dropping big guns on people here. Oh, Jesus. Did not mean to go through this door at all. Okay, what do we got for spells? Uh, and Adair doesn't have a ranged weapon that he can use. Yeah. He's just gonna have to figure it out. Okay, where's Aloth? Seriously, where's Aloth? Oops. Oh, he's right there. You know what? Since you're right there, here. Bash that fellow on the frickin' dome, would you? Alright, I will take the skeletons this time around. There we go. Now he can go deal with the archer. Alright, any chance of you getting in there? Not so much. Alright, why is everybody not attacking right now? Knocked out. Knocked up and knocked... Oh, this is a little fan, that's right. Alright, so he's kibbles now. Well, hadn't quite planned on doing that, but... It happens, so I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. I honestly do feel bad about it. I don't like these guys at all, but... They're not horrible people. Here's the question, though. Doesn't weren't we supposed to find Edder's brother's spirit in here? No, not that one. All right, where is it? 
Search the battlefield for signs of the Saints War. Yeah, he wants to see the wants to see the battlefield. I don't know where the battlefield is here. We're gonna be completely. Honest. I didn't see signs of one or anything. So I, I really don't know how to do this one. I may have to look that one up online. I I still haven't spoiled myself to anything for this game. So and does it lead to something right here? No, this is it. So I've got absolutely no friggin' idea. All right, so we need to go talk to that one particular lady. Ah, God, where is she in? I think she's in First Fires. Ah, excuse me, it was actually in Brackenbury that we had to go, because I couldn't remember where the hell the old bat lived. All right. All righty, here we are in the designated area. I just don't know where she's at now. Upstairs, I think? Where's she in the house? On the first floor. I... Honestly, I'm not positive. That's theft. Why is that theft? We're valuable friends now. Go put that. Okay, yeah, she's upstairs. I don't think it matters what stairs I use. Uh, also, that that nobleman I pissed earlier. Noble family, because I think I murdered a bunch of people in the process. All right, she's around here somewhere. There she is. This is her office right here. We're friends. You won't let me take your stuff? That breaks my heart. I have information about the Leaden Keys operation. All right. The Leaden Keys is manipulating a group of Nguithan machines that span the country. It seems to be calling the Hollowborn epidemic. they might be involved in Widewing's legacy. It seemed too extreme even for them. How naive I've been. That's too extreme for Hitler, to be completely honest. Well, maybe not Hitler, but... They have used Nguithan technology to engineer Widewing's legacy. And they want people to blame Anamancy for it. As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Anamancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. Yeah, but why? I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. Yeah, but what exactly are you going to say to the Duke? like, oh, by the way, uh, your lordship... Uh, a, a, a secret organization full of people that we don't know, whom technically don't that doesn't exist, has been using machines that we don't understand to suck out kid souls to blame animancers, and it has been going on for thousands of years. How do you explain that? There are delegations from the Knights of the Crucible, the Dozens, and from House Domino. If you can gain the support of one of those groups, that may be your best way in. See what you can arrange. Well, I'm already buddies with uh, Knights of the Crucible anyway, so why not? So that's an updated quest, so we're still on the Hermit of Hadrid House. Okay, yeah. Yes, the spy master of uh, Defiance Bay. But we're actually going to leave it here uh, for two reasons. One, this has been going on for a while. And two, I think I'm going to have to kill one of my kids. I'm kidding. They're just, they're six and four. I'm not really mad at them or anything. But I do have other things I need to do. And I'm starting to get a little bit of lag. So I'm wondering if giving the ch game a chance to rest might not help at all. In the meantime, 
I have been the Warboss. I hope you enjoyed this, and I know it's been a while since I've uploaded some, well, anything recently. I hope you can forgive me for that. Ah, I want to see. He looks all shiny. Anyway, folks, I will guys see you next time, alright? Peace.